Hi, welcome to PyTorch Zero to GANs, a coding first introduction to deep learning with PyTorch. My name is Akash and I will be your instructor. Before we get into it, here is an overview of what we will cover in this series. We will begin by looking at the basics of PyTorch, which is tensors and gradients. We will get an introduction to Jupyter Notebooks and data science libraries in Python. We will create some vectors, matrices, tensors, and perform tensor operations and gradient computations on them. And we will see how PyTorch interoperates with popular data science libraries like NumPy and Pandas. Then we will move on to linear regression and gradient descent, where we will implement linear regression from scratch using basic tensor operations. We will also learn the gradient descent optimization algorithm, which creates the foundation for all training algorithms in deep learning. Then we will learn to implement linear regression uh, using some of PyTorch built-in classes, and this will lay the foundation for building more complex networks. Next, we will move on to classifying images using logistic regression. Through this, we will learn to work with images, and then we will also learn to create training and validation datasets. We will create a reusable training loop that we will continue to improve over the course of the next few chapters. We will learn how to evaluate a model and generate sample predictions from our model. We will be classifying images from the MNIST handwritten digits database. We will then move on to implement multi-layer neural networks using the NN.module class in PyTorch. And we will learn about activation functions, non-linearity, and the universal approximation theorem. We will learn how to work with large data sets and how to move our models to the GPU for faster computation. Next, we will learn about convolutional neural networks, learn how convolutions improve upon feedforward neural networks using kernels and feature maps. We will train a CNN on the CIFAR 10 dataset. We will learn many regularization techniques like dropout and batch normalization. Uh, finally, we will look at improving our models to give state-of-the-art results using residual networks and transfer learning. The last topic in this course will be generative adversarial networks which will be used to generate fake images of handwritten digits. And we will look at some potential techniques and applications of generative adversarial networks. The only prerequisites for this course are Python programming, a basic understanding of functions and loops, and some basic high school math, understanding what a matrix is, multiplying matrices and basic linear algebra, and understanding derivatives. This series of tutorials is available as blog posts and video tutorials, as well as executable Jupyter Notebooks that are hosted on the Jovian platform. Jovian is a platform for sharing Jupyter Notebooks and data science projects. We will be using Jovian to share the material with you and you will have a chance to follow along as you watch the videos or read the tutorials. By the end of this course, you will be able to train a model that will progressively get better at generating fake handwritten digits like what you're looking at right now. And you will understand every single line of code and every single mathematical function that goes into creating a model that can do this. I'm pretty excited to learn this. So let's get started.